Last week, Steve showed us his process for the joinery on the panels in the Four Peak Bunk. This week, the assembled furniture gets installed up forward while Carolyn gets going on adapting one of Victoria's large panels for the berth in the saloon. How's the work in the saloon coming? Really well. We've got the first panel frame um, for the settee bunk in the midships area ready to get fit. Um, so we had to do some creative geometry because this original piece that is darker wasn't quite deep enough to go where we wanted it to. So we found another piece of Victoria's mahogany. We sorted through the bits and found a piece that we could cut and join on. Um, so what we did is we took some measurements down in the boat and we took our best guess of a nice big blank that we could then cut down. So this whole space, this whole piece is not the right shape, but it gives us enough of a blank to play with. Um, this curve will fit the nice curve of the boat uh, and I'm really happy with it. We're gonna go down and fit it into the boat. Um, so this is all glued up. Um, as I know people are gonna ask, this piece of plywood here at the very end. Um, this is just to support this whole style because it's cracking and it's old and we just want to be nice to it. So it's all glued up. That's just a buttress. I don't know if that's the right word. So let's go take it down into the boat and see what we get. This guy is going to go roughly here. This isn't its final landing, but the idea is that this piece of furniture and one similar to it on the other side will come down and rest on these sole risers, which are in place. They are where we want them. So my next step is figuring out, okay, what's going on back here? It's hitting on one face, that's hitting on the frame. Um, but once we can tie it all in, then we'll get some blocking behind it and be able to butt it up. It'll go in really nicely. Cool. Well, I'll let you get that all blocked up. And I'm going to go continue sanding those bunk boards. Cool. And once you have this blocked and you're ready to pull your measurements, give me a holler and you can walk us through what that looks like and, and how you get those measurements to cut what you need to cut. Cool. We'll do. We have a glued up four peak panel. Uh, so yesterday, finished cleaning these up. I just did a little work on the shoulders and had to trim some of the tendons, just a tiny little bit, to get this to all get snug. And then we just used the uh, Thixo Flex. So that's this stuff, the uh, thickened flexible epoxy. And it's handy in the squirt tube. So we just ran a bead down where the seams were to glue these together. And we just filled up the long tenon, just put a little bit of epoxy in the bottom of each long tenon uh, when we assembled the frames. So I didn't film that this time, but next time we go around and make more panels because we're gonna make more panels. Uh, I'll show that glue up process. We'll get this all in bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, we just took them, got them a nice fit, put a little glue where the long tenons were, clamped these overnight, and then once the panels were situated and glued, fit them and glued them together. So now I can unclamp this, take off our real fancy tape clamp here, and get to the starting on the next step, which is gonna to be to get the bunk boards fit in. Cool, 
So if you remember, this is going to go in the fore peak. The main mast is going to go about here. And we want to make sure that when you're in the bunk in a seaway, that you're not just going to fall out. So I've got some of Victoria's mahogany here. Stay put for a minute. Ooh, there you go. That'll work. Okay. Cool. So bunk boards are gonna go something like this. And I should have thought of this ahead of time and cut the rebate in the back. So these are gonna get let into the oak a little bit and screwed from the back side. And this one will be the corner piece about here. We'll cut this one in an arc. So this is where you'll enter the bunk. Uh, and then we've got One more real funky panel here. That's gonna go like that and meet up against the hull. So I'm gonna take all this down so I can actually see what I'm doing and not be working way above my head. And we'll get the top of this cleaned up a little bit and figure out where these rebates are. And then we can get the mahogany firmly clamped in place and figure out exactly how we wanna cut it and use it. So far I'm pretty happy and I think we're just a couple days away from having this whole assembly finished and in the boat, which is gonna be awesome. It's, uh, it's really nice to be working with flat boards and things like table saws. It makes life a lot easier. <laughs> I don't want to glue it down. Gotcha. You just wanted to glue them together? Yep. Yeah. 
So I think that's it. So that's the support rail in the back that'll carry the slats for the bunk. Nice. I'll screw fasten that later. Nice. But glue's there. That corner joint is glued, so once these get screwed in, we'll be good. that should be good. Little trim pieces glued in, and then that bunk board will get screwed in, yep. and it'll get attached to the forward bulkhead. Right. So between this being attached to the aft bulkhead and screwed, and that being screwed and attached to the forward bulkhead, it should be good. It should be good. I think the uh, the bunk boards will be plenty solid. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna make the other panel solid. All right. Sounds good. So I'm in here in the main salon of Arabella and I'm working on creating our first piece of furniture, the seti bunk, using uh, the old frame and panel mahogany piece from Victoria. So I've added on a bottom piece to get it to sit on the sole risers and be level. And those pieces are cut away around the frames to allow nice airflow around the frames, which is why they're not super tight. This piece is beautiful and it's going to be a lovely front piece for the main salon and the whole feeling of the place. Um, but the plan is to put a water tank back here and it would be very unfortunate if that mass of the water tank were to put any pressure on this hundred year old mahogany. Um, Cause while the piece is beautiful, it's probably not strong enough to resist um, a lot of force coming back and forth. So you can see I've started to kind of think out a back frame, support frame for this piece. So we've got these locust blocks down here that will kind of match the angle of the piece and they'll sit on the sole risers itself and give some reinforcement back there. Um, and then I'm actually creating an entire oak back frame for this and I'm doing that upstairs with just some joinery that will get clicked together and then glued in um, and then the whole back frame will get screwed to this panel and between that and a frame going across and meeting the hull, we'll have a really nice framed out oak support cage frame thing um, to sit a water tank in, we'll strap it to that and underway Steve will have no worries. <laughs> It'll be beautiful and strong and structural. Um, so we really want the face frame to be plumb and the boat's underlined so we can trust these. But we don't necessarily want it to be dead flat and level. Um, just if you think about sleeping, if you sleep on a perfectly flat surface, that's ideal. But if you sleep on a surface that's inclined towards your head, so you're actually, your, head, your feet are higher than your head, it makes for a very uncomfortable sleeping situation. Um, so I've actually let the frame panel sneak just this side of level. Um, so that when the whole thing is done, you have just an inch over these six feet to ha elevate your head. Uh, that way, um, no matter how the boat's trimmed out ballast wise, that bunk will be, has a better chance of being incre incredibly comfortable when you're sleeping on it. So that is the theory there. So here's that back frame that I'm working on to support the mahogany frame and panel. So what you see here is actually upside down. This will be the top piece that will support a cushion or a bunk or something like that. Um, and it's just got a nice wide and strong shelf to support any load. And then these vertical pieces that are just uh, half lapped into there for some nice solid interconnection. They'll probably be glued in place. And then across the top, um, where these half laps are, this will actually be the bottom of the frame, um, will go another small vertical piece here just to support that frame and to give us something to screw onto the actual blocks on the boat um, so that we're not fastening necessarily through the mahogany. The mahogany will get fastened to this and then this will get fastened into the boat. Um, so I'm just going to cut one more half lap and then we'll see how it all clicks together. Um, none of these have had final finishing, so they're a bit wonky, but we'll find out. Um, so I cut my sides 
angled on my one cut, so that's gonna be annoying. So for dovetails or whatever, I actually like to take quite a bit off the backside first, so that when I go back to the front and chop it through, I don't blow out everything. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. There, that'll just let us cut through without worrying about popping all of this green. So that came away a little more messy than I wanted it to, but you can see that that bottom edge down here is actually still nice and straight and preserved. It's just all the metal stuff we gotta clean up. But that's fine. because this is just a back frame that is then going to get painted and glued. I don't need to be super fussy about it. Always do your best work, but make the difference that makes a difference. fantastic. I am happy. Very, very happy. Okay, so we got the drill, a couple bolts, just like three down that side should be good. Yeah, get that bolted on and be able to fit this one. So the next step is to go cut this out nicer, and that'll be a little piece that drops in there and fills that in. And then that can get glued on, and this whole thing can get sanded and finished and ready to install. And I've also got to finish fitting the bunk boards. They're roughed out. Uh, they're very close, but I wanted to get this panel actually in here and against the bulkhead and see exactly where all that landed before I totally committed. Um, so I'm going to go get rid of this. We'll put that upstairs and we'll get ready to make the cuts on that. And I'm going to go grab the bunk boards and see what those look like. Fits like it was made to fit. Perfect. Nice. That looks great. I'm gonna have to clean up these rot spots here. That's no biggie. It's obviously gotta get sanded and sealed. Now let's check the other side. I know the other side won't fit. It's too long right now, and I gotta cut the angle on it, but let's see what that looks like.
Okay, that is the angle and the distance. I'm going to nip seven eighths off at whatever degree that is. We'll see how we fit. Right now I'm aiming for about, I don't know, a sixteenth long, because we can trim just a little bit off the end. Uh, better that than cut it too short. Good thing we left that 16th. Ended up using it. Cool. Oh man, that looks awesome. Okay, so these can go to sand. The bottom's added to this panel here. Gotta wait till that glue dries and that can be sanded and these can be sealed. So I think for now, the four peak is on hold and it's on to other projects. Thanks for joining us again this week. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow the progress in the boathouse every Friday. Next week, Steve gets to lie down in the bed that he's made, and Carolyn continues work on the saloon berth. So it's the seat, and this is pretty much where somebody will be sitting, and the table will go right here. <laughs> and this is really exciting sitting on the boat and like this is exactly where you're going to be sitting. <laughs>